I'm an active person. I spent two years in pain progressively getting worse, and as it got worse, the medications got increased. My activities were diminished, my work was diminished, the ability to enjoy life with my family was basically gone. My hip was hurting, and my lifestyle was definitely dampered by it. He had a problem called osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear on the hip, and over the years, uh, he wore down the cartilage, basically wore out his hip. He had zero cartilage in there where the, the ball and sitting in the socket of his hip had no padding left in between there and the bone started rubbing and it's a very painful problem. What he had done is what we call a total hip replacement. So basically now the hip joint is gone. He has a, a metal hip in there with some plastic and the, the pain is gone. It's become more common in the last uh, few years. So we're doing a lot of these here at, at Nyack Hospital. Well, one of the important parts of the surgery that has changed, and the techniques have changed really over the past five years, is the length of the incision. And whereas joint replacement still sometimes has to be done through an eight or a 10 inch incision, sometimes we can fit that incision into a four or five inch long opening in the skin. And what that really means is not just the size of the opening in the skin is smaller, but the amount of intervention below the skin is smaller. And so post-operatively, a person is more likely to get up in the first two weeks and start to be more mobile than they would have been in the, with the longer incisions. With surgery now, it's usually the first 48 hours after major surgery when it, when it really is the most pain and people have the most problems with pain. Um, now we're using a new medication called Depidor. Now you just get this one shot in the epidural space right before in the operating room and you're comfortable for 48 hours. As a joint replacement center, we're putting an emphasis on systematic care. We're going through it as a process and not reinventing the wheel each time. We go from step A to step B each time and if we find a place in the system where there's weakness or a patient is not exactly satisfied, we look at that part of the protocol and we adjust it so that the patients get better care. By educating patients preoperatively, and immediately after the surgery and having a very knowledgeable staff, we can put those patients at ease. And that makes for a much more pleasant experience throughout the whole procedure. The doctors and staff in Nyack Hospital happened to be just unbelievably good. Dr. Medici, after I got operated on, he came to see me. He explained step by step, everything was fine, what was to be expected from me in the next few days, next week. If I needed him, call me. I never had an experience like that. This is not just a little community hospital any longer. We have expansion of services and we're providing excellent care. Our doctors are well qualified. Uh, our surgeons certainly are. Uh, they're all board certified, all members of their various colleges, and we are providing uh, the best of care. Being from Rockland County, it was easy for my family to get to Nyack Hospital. Parking wasn't a problem. The doctors were nice, so the nurses were just lovely. I would highly recommend Nyack Hospital to anyone. It just was a, a great experience. Can't ask for more than that.